In today's video, I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to color grade your photos inside Photoshop. Hey guys, Ben here from Ben's Guide and welcome to today's video. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please hit subscribe and the notification bell to join our growing community of photographers and filmmakers here on YouTube. Today's video is showing you how to quickly and easily color grade your photos inside Photoshop. And the reason color grading is important is because it can change the look and the feel of your photos just by changing a few things around and changing different colors. And this can really transform the look of your photos on social media apps like Instagram, Facebook, or even if it's your portfolio or website. The photo that we're going to be using for today's tutorial is actually one which I'll share with you in the description of the video. That means that you can click on the link that you'll see there and then you'll be able to download this and follow along. So soon as you've done that, grab the photo and drag it into Photoshop. And when we've opened it up, then you'll be able to see that we've got this really nice photo that we're going to work with. This is actually a photo that you'd see quite often on Instagram. But as you can see by looking at the photo, the one thing that I've noticed anyway is that this photo is kind of, it's quite faded and it just doesn't really have much punch to it. So before we jump in and learn how to color grade the photo, I'm just going to quickly make a change to add more contrast into it. Now the way that I do that is by using the curves adjustment layer up here. Then what I do is I create an S curve. This is known to actually give you more contrast in the highlights and the shadows uh, found in the picture. So what you have to do is create these three points here and then drag down to create more contrast in the shadows. And then do the same by pushing more up on the opposite side for the highlights. And then as you can see, you've got this S curve, which has created this contrast in the, in the photo. So if I just click that off and then look at the before and after, you can see suddenly we've just transformed this photo already by creating more contrast inside of it. Now, the way that we're gonna color grade this photo is really nice, quick and simple. But first thing we wanna do is create a duplicate layer of the background. So the way to do that is click on the background, press Control J, and then we've got this duplicate layer here, which sits underneath our curves adjustment. Okay, so the adjustment layer that we're going to use to create this color grading effect with is gradient map. Now this is something which is not actually used by a lot of people, but the reason for this actually perplexes me because it's a brilliant way to color grade your photos. So let's click on it and open it up. And then when you first open it up, you might get some kind of wacky look like this, but don't be put off because we can easily and quickly change this. So just come to the, uh, the drop down here, click on that, and then you'll see that you've got a bunch of options here. Now we want to get rid of this look to start with because this is not what we're going for. Now with the photo before, you can see that we've got this really nice look. You've got this purple uh, lavender, I believe it is, in the field. And then you've got this woman which is looking out into the view. Now I think to color grade this photo, we should continue with this nice purple theme and then just add more of that into the scene. So let's go back up here to the drop down, click on it, and then go into this folder here which says purples. You may quickly notice that you've got all these other folders and these are different colors of gradients that you can create in your image. But let me go into the purples and show you how it works. I'm going to click the drop down here and then choose a color. You can see these different gradients which we've got here and these are all the colors that you can choose from inside the purples folder. I'm going to choose this one here which has got like a purple and a blue hue to it. Now, when we click on this, you're gonna see that we get this really, really crazy effect in our image. Now, this is of course not the way that we're gonna color grade the photo, so hold on, don't worry. We're gonna change this by actually adding a blend mode to it. So if you come here to this drop down, which says normal, and then we're gonna choose soft light. Now I've actually spent a lot of time on the blend modes in this section to see which works best and by far soft light gives the most natural look. But it's still not there yet and we do need to make one more change to really finish this off. 
This is to bring your opacity all the way down. Now, when you've brought it all the way down, we can dial it up to a certain amount, which is going to be right to add the effect in while giving you that really nice natural look. Now, I've found that the sweet spot here is between around about 15 to 25 percent. So if we just push the opacity up to 20 percent and then we can see exactly how this looks. So let's now have a look at the before and after of this image to see the kind of change that we've made to the image now that we've color graded it with a gradient map. First up, I'm just going to click on curves layer here and then shift click background copy and now press control G. This creates a group with the layers that we've edited on. Now what you can do is you can simply click the eye on the group and this is going to show you the before and the after of the image. So here's the before and here's the after. You can see that we've color graded this image here and we've given it a really lovely look and yet it's still quite subtle. So it's not too in your face but yet it's give more vibrancy into the image and then it's give it that natural look. Now, if you want to lessen the effect, you can, of course, go to the opacity slider, but make sure you choose the layer that you've color graded. Because if you were to choose the group here, then you would actually be um, lowering the effect also of the curves adjustment layer. So click into your group. Go to gradient map, and then if you want to add more of the effect, push up or add less of the effect, go down. So we're going to keep it around about 20%. And then what we're going to do is just press the group back up. And there we go. Now, if you want to make a different look to this or add a different color, all you have to simply do is go back onto the gradient map layer, click on it, and then double click on this square here. You can then go back into the drop down box and then choose from any other of the colors here that you have available. So for instance, if you wanted to choose something um, that's got like a blue hue to it and make it more cold and wintry, you could simply do that. You could replace this effect with something like this and it gives you this nice wintry blue hue. I want to thank you for joining me on today's tutorial, guys. I always appreciate you being here and watching the videos. Now, if there's any questions you have at all, please leave them in the comment section of the video and I'll be happy to come back to you after this video has been created. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.